How's it going guys? I'm CTM Amygdala and welcome back to another Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War video. So today there was a announcement, or actually the announcement happened yesterday, but a lot I've seen a lot of big streamers and like YouTubers and just a lot of the community in general pretty pissed off about this. But this is going to be kind of a controversial video because I'm coming at this from a different perspective and going to be talking about more why this might be a good thing rather than a bad thing. And I'm also going to be talking about some leaked content and stuff as well. So as a lot of you guys probably know, what I'm talking about is that Cold War Season 1 was originally set to be released on December 10th alongside the Cold War and Warzone integration. However, this has officially been pushed back to December 16th and I'm thinking that this is probably because the game Cyberpunk 2077 is now planning on being released on December 10th and this game has a ton of hype with it it's been consecutively pushed back over and over again, so there's going to be a lot of people on that, and the devs probably thought that it would be taking away from the uh, the Season 1 launch. So a lot of people will be over there playing that instead, so they re pushed the uh, Season 1 launch back another week. And I'm personally not too upset, because the way that I see it is it's really only one week there's not too much delay there, so I really don't feel like it's that big of a deal per se, even though a lot of other YouTubers and the community does. Now, if you've seen my other videos, you'll know that I've brought up that there are still a ton of bugs in this game. And another reason why I'm kind of happy that they're pushing back the launch is because I personally do want them to sort out all these bugs and glitches before they release season one because as a lot of you guys know with the new seasons there's usually a whole bunch of new bugs and glitches and if the old ones aren't even fixed yet it's just gonna keep breaking the game even more and more and we're just gonna get even farther behind in terms of how the game plays and some of these glitches are like Things like showing incorrect prestige emblems, games crashing, zombies crashing, XP not going up at the right rate, this stuff like that is all still in the game. And I personally want to see that all fixed before the Season 1 launch so that when the new glitches that come in when Season 1 launches, they can focus on those instead of the ones that have been in the game for like 3 to 4 weeks already. A lot of the developers are aware that there are still all these bugs and stuff in the game. So we actually did get an announcement yesterday that said that there will be a quality of life update for the game that will be coming out on December 8th. I believe that's been like three days, two days, yeah like three days on this Tuesday. So that will hopefully fix a lot of the preseason bugs and glitches and stuff. So we'll be getting ready for that, and I'm glad that they are putting their time towards that instead of just pumping out more content. Because, like I said before, it's just going in the wrong direction if we're just pumping out content without fixing the bugs and glitches. And on top of just this, on top of just fixing the, blood, the bugs, they're also going to be giving us uh, double XP and double weapon XP from the 12th to the 16th when the season launches which I also see as a really good thing because this will give me time to actually hit level 100. I think I'm currently around level 70, so I got about 30 more levels to go. And it'll also give me a little bit more time to grind out a couple more weapon classes. Like, I think I'm going to try and knock out the tactical rifles and the LMGs. As of right now, I'm pretty much done with the snipers and all the secondaries. So I'm hoping for season one, I only really have the assault rifles and submachine guns left. Along with the statement that they said that they're going to be delaying season one by week, they also gave us some intel on what to actually expect with season one and the days leading up to season one. So now I'm gonna be covering a lot of this stuff. And the first thing that 
they mentioned, which I kind of mentioned a little bit earlier, is that on December 8th, they're going to be doing a quality of life improvement, which is just going to overhaul all the bugs and glitches, get all those out of the game, and for the uh, new season to come in more smoothly. So that's definitely a plus to why it was pushed back 100%. 100% guys. Like, there's no doubt about that. And then on top of that, there be, if you play the game between December 8th and December 15th, you'll actually be given two free bundles. The first one is called Field Research, which includes a epic skin for Park, an SMG blueprint, a reticle, a calling card, and a weapon charm. The second free pack that you get is called Certified, and this includes a epic skin for Garcia, a rare assault rifle blueprint, an epic reticle, and an epic charm. On top of that, they also said that on the 16th, all roughly 30 Cold War weapons will also be added to Warzone, along with a brand new Warzone map, a brand new Warzone mode, and a new Gulag experience. So to me, it sounds like they're likely going to be changing up the Gulag a little bit to fit more of a Cold War theme. And the new map we also have some intel on. It's not going to be like a full-size map like for Danskis, but it's going to be more like a smaller, like a mini Royale with maybe 175 players. And from leaks, it's going to be taking place on the Alcatraz Island where the prison is, except in a Soviet, like, Russian reskin. So it's going to be like a Russian prison out on an island almost. So that's one thing that we're definitely going to be looking forward to in terms of new Warzone content. So we don't really have a whole lot of information on the 6v6 maps or modes for Season 1. All they've really told us is that there will be brand new 6v6 multiplayer maps and brand new modes for Season 1. It's literally all they've really said in terms of that. But they also did say that in December we are going to be getting a Christmas variant of Nuketown. And then we're also going to be getting the 6v6 map Raid from Black Ops 2 returning as a remastered map for Season 1 as well. So that's pretty much all we have for in terms of 66. We just know that there are maps coming, and one of those maps is going to be Raid from Black Ops 2, which is good. We definitely need some uh, remasters in this game. Now, they did have some more information on the 2v2 gunfight and fireteam maps, which kind of lets us break us down more, because we do know that there are eight maps in the files that are planning on coming with Season 1. So it said that there will be 2v2 gunfight along with Season 1, which will include four gunfight maps, and there will be one fireteam map. So this leaves about two unique 6v6 maps after Raid as well. And some of the 2v2 maps might also have larger versions that we can play 6v6 on as well as the fire team might, might have a smaller version that we could also play 6v6 on so we could actually be getting all eight 6v6 maps i really doubt that though i'm thinking we might just get like the three possibly four or five if we're lucky so don't hold your hopes too high for 6v6 seems like we're just getting a couple of maps and they're really going to be focusing on gunfight for this update but we will still be getting a brand new fire team map which is good so there's currently only two in the game right now the last things that they're going to be bringing along with season one will include a brand new battle pass which will include weapons a new operator new operator skins emblems stickers pretty much everything else that has been in the battle passes from modern warfare it's going to be the exact same layout likely going to be a gun at like 15 or 16 then another one at 31 it's just going to be exactly like um mod warfare i believe it's going to cost the same amount as, of cod points as well so they're pretty much just porting over the battle passes from mod warfare into cold war which i think is good i do like the battle pass system that they have in modern warfare so we're getting that and then the other thing that we're also going to be seeing is 
we'll see the cross-tidal launch of the Seasonal Prestige system. And this is going to be across Cold War, Modern Warfare, and Warzone. So when Season 1 starts, we'll have 7 Prestiges, a Master Prestige at level 200, and then 1,000 le 1, levels on top of that that you can grind up to when Season 1 starts across all three of the games. And this will also include a Prestige Shop where you can use your Prestige Keys, which for those of you guys that don't know, you get a Prestige Key every single time that you hit a new Prestige. I believe that you're going to get one every 50 levels above 200 within Season 1. And what you can use at this prestige shop is you can use these keys to buy unique Master Prestige icons, like ones from previous Black Ops games. So like me personally, my favorite prestige icon ever is the 11th prestige icon from Black Ops 1 with the two dragons and the knife. So that's probably definitely going to be the first one that I plan on picking up. And you can also buy double XP and double weapon XP tokens as well. That's all we really have confirmed to be in the prestige shop right now. But I'm sure there's going to be a much more content within the prestige shop to come. And I'll definitely be doing an update report on that when season one actually launches. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to click that like button. And don't forget to subscribe, it'll help me out a lot, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.